channel again and this is the much awaited tf light video yes we are going to use tf life uh, with flutter so yes tf light stands for tensorflow light and uh, guys i'm not a machine learning expert so there can be few mistakes if there are any mistakes then let me know in the comments i'm also learning so yeah i can if i do something weird then let me know okay so uh, talking about tensorflow light so we are going to use a plugin which will help us in achieving the object detection part so uh yeah using this plugin uh what else you can do you can do i guess uh, first of all you can do image classification then you can use uh, object detection uh pix to pix deep lab pose net all these models you can use um and you can do uh, prediction in static images as well as uh, real time detections can be there so in this particular video i'm going to talk about object detection and for that we are going to use uh, yolo version 2 or uh, ssd mobile net so these are the models i have picked if you want to i mean uh, change the models then it's your choice there are like four to five models which are already available with this plugin so you can take a look so i'm not doing anything i'm just trying to explain how it works uh, how that sample works so if you want you can go to my source code directly you can uh, directly uh, download those models or even you can visit the plugin and from there you can download the models so that's the idea guys so yes tensorflow light uh, we are going to use and uh, basically it uses the android neural network apis which is again available i guess from android 8.1 and higher so please make sure you are using that and uh, and the model about the model we are going to use tiny yolo version 2 which is again small model basically for mobiles and uh, um we will like we will not but it has been converted from uh, the default format to tensorflow light model so yes so basically it uses darknet uh, 19 uh, to use with uh, tensorflow but uh, if you see that then the darknet format is dot weights and you need to convert it to tensorflow format which is protocol buffers which is dot pb and then um, you need to again translate it if you want to use uh, with tensorflow light so basically that is frame buffer so the extension is dot tf light so yeah you can do that there are scripts which you can use so if you know about if you want to know about them then let me know in the comments again press the like button right now if you are interested in this kind of stuff and also subscribe to the channel if you are not the subscriber already and now let's get started with this and uh, guys one more thing i'm going to use some other plugins as well to support uh, image uh, like picking from the gallery and then doing the object detection so first of all i'll go to my popspec.yml here i'm going to add um tf light first of all so add dependency tf light so you can see uh, we have lot of uh, models so tf light version 1.0.4 i'm going to use then i'm going to use image picker uh yes image picker is there so image picker i'm going to use which is the version the latest one and then i'm going to use a normal extension which is called image which is a plugin so version 2.1.4 so these are the three um i would say plugins which we are going to use um and then what i want to do here i want to create a folder here called assets and inside the assets folder let's make another folder called the tf light okay so we have tf light here and now i'm going to um see i have these kind of um, models here and i can just copy them so deep lab mobile net uh so i'm going to use ssd mobile net then its labels then yolo and its labels so all these four i'm going to use here and i'm going to put in the tf light folder so these are the two which i am going to use but you can use different as well i mean it's totally your call but what i i did some research and i found that the results were better in these two models and yeah i i guess it's still in the learning phase if i'm not wrong so yeah that's that's my call that's your call i'm not a machine learning expert so yes you can take your call yourself or maybe you can reach to some machine learning guy and they can better suggest you some models okay so let's uh, focus on what to do next uh, so we will go back to our pubspec.yml here we need to add these assets so i'm just going to uncomment this rather than images i'm going to say assets slash tf light and slash so now i'm going to give some names like this ssd okay and underscore mobile net mobile net dot tf light yeah this looks good 
similarly I'm just gonna uh, copy this line again and uh, then again and then again so four times and then the second one would be not tf light but rather than it will be just text this contains all the labels which it can detect so that's the idea and then we have yolo version 2 okay so yolo version 2 underscore tiny okay so that's that sounds good and then we are gonna paste it here as well and then we will replace it with txt so these are our all the assets which we need these are all the models which we need and then uh, what we have to do if you are using Android phones then yes uh, you have to do some changes so you will go to your Android folder and you will go to your app folder and there you will go to your build.gradle or uh, this one and here um, inside this Android brackets you will use one more thing which is AAPT options so opt options which is for um, what, what it is for it's actually for all those annotations if I'm not wrong right so yes so um, you will just write no compress so you don't want to compress these things so you will mention tf light here and then second will be no compress and just to make sure everything works fine so you will write light as well uh, so that's that's the only thing you have to do here and uh, yeah we should be good so now coming to main dot dot uh, what I will do I will delete everything and then uh, we will start from scratch so yes I have deleted everything if you can see here and uh, this is the only sample where I'm not going to play it uh, simultaneously uh, we will write some code and then we will try to deploy it on the real device um, so first of all guys I'm gonna import material dot dot because that's how we start right and then um, we can uh, import something like um, uh, the tf light so import tf light dot dot and then import let's say image picker image picker dot dot this is these are all the plugins which we are going to use and then we gonna import image as well so image dot dot as image let's say and yes now we are ready so we are going to write void main inside that we will write run app and then we will have my app and yeah we are good to go so now uh, I'm gonna make first of all this my app so um, so I'm gonna make a stateless widget I'm gonna name it my app and it will return a material app and here debug show check panel false home and uh, tf tf light home let's say let's name it like this and then um, we can have we can have uh, a stateful widget here which we can na uh, name tf light home okay guys so this is what we have created so far and it looks pretty good to me um, so now um, before proceeding let me just use our two models so here I'll, I'll create some constants so first of all our constant would be SSD because because we are using um, SSD mobile net so let's say SSD and I can say SSD mobile net okay so this is our first constant we are gonna use it and then the second one would be YOLO so we can just say uh, tiny YOLO capital V2 okay so this is what uh, we are going to use if you if you are using uh, other models as well then you can specify like let's say uh, posenet deep lab mobile whatever mobile net if you want to use right so now um, we are here now what we want um, so first of all when we are in this tf light home widget then first of all we want to have our model by default which model we are going to use so let's say we have this uh, model which we are gonna use so string model and the model of the name of the model let's say it's SSD by default so this is our model uh, by default and then um, okay so this is not where I we are gonna use it we are going to use it here okay so this is the perfect place now um, we will import the image from you know um, from the device itself so i'm gonna say file image let's say that's that that will be our image and now we need to import file as well from dart io 
yes so we have the file now so now there will be some image width and height here as well so yes double image width and then double image height so this is all we need right so now we are done um, with this part now what i want to do i want to go into the build method and then we will write few things here so that uh, yeah we can done with it so we will start with a scaffold and a scaffold app bar so in the app bar part i'm gonna say in the title i'm gonna use a text called tf light demo okay so this is what uh, we are gonna write this is still the same thing and then um if you want you can append it whatever you want to use and then in the floating action button area we have this floating action button we are going to use a floating action button which we will use to import image uh, from gallery so yeah so basically child and uh, we are gonna use an icon here guys so icon start image yes yep and then in the tooltip you can write something like pick image from gallery yes and then it has this on pressed where we can say um predict or select from image picker so this is the um, method name which we are going to use so let's make this method first and then uh, let's see how we are going to deal with this so um here before this build method i'm going to make a method called select image from select image oh select from image picker so this is what we will write it's gonna be asynchronous yes so this is what we have now and now i will say that i want to have an image and i'm gonna use await image picker one second guys image oh, oh. image picker yes dot pick image okay so this is what we are gonna use and then we will provide a source so image source dot camera or gallery so we are gonna use gallery for the time being and then uh, if this image is null why my caps lock is getting on again and again okay so if if this image is null then we will return we will do nothing otherwise uh, we will do a set state and uh, we will you know do some operations with the image and let's let's predict that image so we will say do some prediction okay from the image so we will call this method then and uh, when we are selecting that image so we will create another boolean here which is busy which means that you know something is happening in the background by default it will be false but as soon as you will pick the image from the gallery you will say um let's make it private so busy is equal to true so that's what you will do and now you will call this method predict image so now we need to um make this method so when we are predicting image then we need to pass this image as well so here we will say we have another method called predict image i have a very bad habit to just on the caps lock and here we can just say that it will accept another file and it is going to be asynchronous again so now what we are going to write um, if again it is null so if image is null so we are gonna just return it otherwise we are going to check which model we are using okay so um, let's say if we are using um, so switch we can use switch case or whatever you want to use okay so if the model is um let's say yolo okay so yolo if it is yolo then uh, we will do something else if it is not yolo which means it is ssd mobile then we will do something so what we are going to use here uh if it is molo uh, yolo so we will say await and uh, we will call the yolo method okay 
so yolo version 2 tiny this is the method name and we will pass the image obviously this method is still not available with us so we will do that and if it is ssd so we can say ssd mobile net and we are going to use that so this is what we are going to use as of now and once we will uh, do that then what we want to do we want to set our image so as you can see we have this image we will set this image to whatever image we will get and then um, we will again make busy else false so here what we will do uh, we will say file image okay we will pass our image here and then what we can do we can say dot resolve okay and it will ask for the image configuration so we will pass a new image configuration okay and then we will add some listener here where we can say image stream listener yes so we have this image stream listener uh, which we can use and uh, it takes few parameters like uh, you can see image info and uh, boolean another boolean is there so we can say something like okay what we can do something like this oh we have used some extra call i guess yes this looks good to me or we are missing something here guys okay so image listener takes um two things one is image info and we can just say info and then it takes a boolean which is let's say we are not saying anything to this boolean as of now and yeah we are ending it so yeah what we are going to resolve that's that's still interesting and i'm gonna coming to that part as well so uh what we are going to do here we once we will have the image we want to use our image width and height and we want to allocate that because we need that to uh, render some boxes right so that's the idea guys and yeah why it's not working okay this is something okay critical um, why it's not working that's interesting oh i guess we have some extra braces or something like that i guess okay we are missing another column here i guess yes so this is fine guys and now here what we will do we will do a set state and inside the set state we will use the image width first of all so now um, we will use this info keyword to get the image and then its height so it is integer so we will convert it to double and similarly we will use the image uh, height okay so this should be the width and this should be the height and this is fine so now we have the image width and height as well now we also have the image so what we are going to do we are going to do a set state again here but this time at this level and we are gonna allocate our image to this image and then we are on also gonna say busy is equal to false which means we are done with this image prediction part now we are using this here i guess it should not show me the error once we will use it so right now we are not using it so that's why you can see there are some errors now we still have to make these two methods which is yolo v2 tiny and ssd mobile net okay so uh, we are gonna create these methods as well and then only uh, we will see that you know how things are working so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna go below this and I'm gonna write another method here which is YOLO v2 tiny and this this is gonna remove this error but yeah it takes another image so file image and yes this is going to be a lengthy tutorial because we are doing everything from scratch so now we need some recognitions okay so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say variable recognition so we want all the recognitions in the image and uh, then depending on these recognitions uh, we are gonna draw some boxes that this is how you know um, this is the objects we did we could detect so await we are gonna use tf light and then it has all these methods you can see 
so we can say detect object on image okay so if you want to use binary you can use that so it's totally your call and now it takes some parameters first is path so we can directly use image dot path then uh, it will ask for model what model we are talking about so we are talking about yolo so just write yolo here and then what will be the threshold so you can give your threshold let's say it's 0 0.3 uh, i'm using this data from the sample application then you can say image mean what would be the mean uh, 0, 0.0 then uh, there is image uh, std which is which is again you can give let's say 255.0 and then um, how many results per class you want so num results per class so one and yes we are done mostly with this part and then again we will do set state and now we have the recognition so now we will make another variable on the top uh, which we will say let's say here we will say that we will have some recognitions so recog recognitions so this is basically in this set state we are gonna say this recognitions is equal to this recognitions yes so we are done with this part guys we have this yolo to tiny ready and that's the only thing you have to do now after that uh, we will make another method similarly for ssd mobile net so ssd mobile net okay image okay so yes there can be some spelling issues when we are doing it like quickly so now for ssd mobile net we are gonna do the same thing so i'm just gonna copy and paste all of this from here and uh, i'm gonna remove few things first of all um by default because it already do sst mobile net so we don't have to give the model so we can remove these three things and we will leave it with uh, image dot path and number results per class so that's that's the only thing you need to do now um yeah i guess uh, okay we need to uh do few more things so this is fine so yeah we are done mostly with this part where uh, 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 when I want to use our TF light right now what I want um, I want to pick some images right so I'll go to the body part here so we have the floating action button but below that we will have a body okay and I'm gonna use a stack here why stack because on the top of it we want to do some you know we want to show some boxes that these are the objects we detected and now it will ask me about children so we can have some children so we can say uh, stack children okay and yes so this is what we have to make now we need to make stack children okay so how we are gonna do that so it takes a list of widgets so here I'm just gonna say that okay first of all i need the size okay of the uh, uh so right now i i am gonna use media query to get the size so i'm gonna say media query dot of context dot size and then um i will have this list of widget okay and then i can say stack children and yes something like this and even if you don't want to use this kind of way of uh, using stack children then also you can use dart 2.3 to you know actually do everything here so that's that's the one thing now um so now what we are going to do so first of all um we want to um write something like stack children dot add okay so we need to add that field where we will display the image okay so how we are gonna do so we are gonna use position widget okay position widget we have the position widget now and here we can say that from top it should be 0, 0.0 from left it should be 0, 0.0 the width should be size dot width that's why we use size there and then the child so if our image is equal to is equal to null then uh, we can show a text saying no image selected and if it is not null okay guys then we will say image dot file 
and uh, we will pass our image so yeah oh so it should have this underscore yeah so basically we whenever we will uh, press this floating action button then whether we will select an image or we want so if we are not the image is not selected then we will say no image selected otherwise we will pick the image from file so that's the first thing we need to do right guys um after that what we want um let's say now we have the image so what else we need so now we will say stack children dot add okay guys so um so we have something called add all here where we can have a list of widgets right i tribbles so here um i can call a method called render boxes so this these are the detect detection boxes which we are gonna use and here we will pass the size as well so yes so this is all you have to do nothing else and then um, um i guess below this we can also check if if busy is equal to true which means that you know um that our um you know there is some image processing happening or something like that so we can just add in the center in the child a uh, circular progress indicator right so yes so this is something which again you can do apart from that you don't have to do anything now we need one more thing which is this render boxes okay we want to draw some boxes on the top of images so that's what we are gonna do so yes uh, we are back to the last stage of this application so here uh, i'm gonna say it is gonna return list of widget and we are going to name it render boxes now we are also accepting the size so screen and then here in this particular method uh, first of all we will check if our recognition is not null so recognitions these are the recognitions which we uh, used in our models so if it is null then we will return empty boxes empty uh, recognitions which means the boxes are null so no widgets technically and uh, if um, let's say our one second guys image width is null or so if it is null or our image height is also null so that means we don't techni technically have any image so then also we are gonna return return empty list okay so this these are two things which we have to do now uh, first of all we need to have uh, the x factor and y factor okay so we can say double factor x and this we can get from this screen dot width and similarly we will have the double factor y so it's a little bit tricky here we are gonna say uh, we will divide it with image height so image height upon image width and into screen dot width okay so this is what we will which will give us the factor y so this is the formula which we are going to use now um it depends on you what type of boxes you want to present so let's say if i want to uh, represent the boxes in blue color then i can directly use colors one second guys colors dot blue it's totally your call we will try to change this color as well now because we have all the recognitions already so um i am gonna use return recognitions okay and i'm gonna map it so when you will map it then um you will have this recognition element here and then at the end you can just say to list right and why it's showing me some error i guess there is something wrong if i'm not wrong okay why it's showing me return um okay this this is looking good to me so far i don't know why it is showing me this error for no reason okay i guess guys okay so maybe if we do this uh we if we attach this 
then maybe we can no it's not working so guys there is something wrong for sure I'm not sure what's wrong here um okay let's try this then we will see if we are actually missing something because I guess if we are not returning oh that's fine so we need to return a position widget here because again we are using stack so yeah it's giving me some error but we will see what kind of error it is giving so that's a separate thing guys so don't worry about that uh, it should work 90% of the scenarios but even if it is not working we'll see okay so when we are using position it will have a left okay so uh, when you are using this uh, recognitions when you are getting this re so you can use re and it will give you something called racked and then you can you access it x and then you can multiply it with uh, factor x so factor x yes so this is how you will give the left coordinates so basically you will access this re which is uh, recognition then access its rect element then the x uh, part of it and then it you will multiply it with factor x similarly we will do for top width and height so from top for top what do you have to do so top means y coordinate right guys so we will replace x with y and x with y and then it will be width so when we are dealing with width, width then we will have something called w and again because it's about x coordinate so x factor x and then for height it is again gonna be not w it's gonna be h and then factor x should be replaced with factor y because we are talking about height okay so we have the positioned element ready now in the child part we will have a container okay guys and uh, yeah it's still showing me this i don't know why but let's try this oh it's not working yeah okay so we'll we'll see that so in the container um we will have something called decoration okay so we will say box decoration and uh, it it will accept some border so we will say border dot all and now we need to give the border color so that's why i asked you to represent a color here so we will say blue so this is the color now uh, if you want you can increase the font size and all but uh, yeah it's totally your call oh sorry width and also width you can give let's say we are giving a width let's say three so this is the width now we are having this container and this container also takes a child child and then we will have a text where we will show whether it's a person whether it's a horse hand whatever it is okay so again i'm gonna use this dollar sign for string interpolation and then i'm gonna use this re here re and then it has something called a detected class detected class and then um we will have something called so this is the detected class so i'm gonna just copy it here and then i'm gonna paste it again here and then detected class will give us the class then um we can use something called um confidence in class so we can say this and this yes and then we can have something like okay this is fine confidence in class okay so this is is going to give me confidence and we gonna multiply it with 100 and then guys once we are ready with this result then we can um, say that you know we don't want um, as fixed we don't want uh, anything after decimal so that's why we are using zero so yeah we just want the confidence so that's what we can do guys and then um, we can have something called a uh, style so for style we are gonna use text style and then first of all background we are gonna paint it so we will say paint dot dot color is equal to blue and then uh, what will be the color of the text colors dot white and then what would be the font size so let's say 15 
so yes guys this is all you need to do now the question comes why there is this error so there should not be any uh, error with this return statement which I'm really worried about right now that why this is showing me this error it's so far so good expected to find this okay let me try guys why this is happening second this is looking so good so far let me just copy this code from here and let me try return this oh this is still not working oh so guys we did some stupid mistake here and the mistake is that this blue should be this okay this is fine guys and now i'm gonna run it on my so this is all we need to do i tried to explain everything there's one more thing which we missed that we didn't load our model okay so that's the uh, that's the most important thing which we have already forgot about so uh, you might be wondering how we can load our model right so what we will do here doing before doing anything we will um, use this init state where we will get this super dot init state uh, so by default we will say busy is equal to true because we are loading our model right and then um, we will have let's say another method here we will call it load model okay and it will be a asynchronous method so async and then so which model we are gonna load okay so first of all if there are any resources uh, we will close it so we will say tf light dot close if there is uh, some resources already in use and then we will use some try catch block and uh, um so basically we will say string response okay guys okay so first of all we will check if our model is yolo then uh, in the response section we will await it and we are gonna say tf light dot load model so this is the method which we are gonna use so we are gonna give model name so we are gonna say assets slash uh, tf light slash and we will give the name of the model so it's yolo so you can see it here let me just close it so this is what we are going to use yolo v2 underscore tiny dot tf light so this is the model name and then um, it also asks for labels so again i'm going to give the same path here and then i'm going to say yolo version 2 underscore tiny dot txt so these are our models now uh, if it is not yellow yolo that means we are gonna uh, add the ssd one right so i'm gonna just copy and paste it here as well and i'll just change it from here then uh, to ssd underscore mobile net which we can see here and then ssd underscore mobile net so this is how we will get our models right and by default also we are gonna use that okay so um if there is some kind of exception let's say on platform exception exception what you want to use okay so if there is any kind of platform exception uh, so we will print let's say failed to load the model and uh, if it is not then we will print the response as well okay so now we are gonna um, because we are ready with this model thing so now in the init state we are gonna say uh, load model okay and then once it is loaded then we can say load model dot then okay and then when we will have the value then we will say uh, set state and we will say busy is equal to false oh this is a lot of things to do now guys i'm gonna run it on my android device so let's try to run it so it's launching 
and I hope we don't see any issue here so we are we haven't used this image library yet because that will be um, important when we will deal with uh, some other things like uh, you know uh, some other things might be uh, let's say you are using deep lab or um, posenet and all those things right guys so yeah we got some error here and it is saying that we got an error in build.cradle so why that error happened probably because we added that apt related stuff right guys so now uh, we need to check it so we will go back to our uh, android build.cradle and yes so we had opt option oh so it should be options so maybe that's why we are getting this error and now let's try to run this i hope it works and i'm just gonna on oh one second guys i'm just gonna on my visor so that i can show you what's happening on the mobile screen so yes show me the mobile screen here and yes guys it's connecting so yeah this is my phone and we are running our first model and then we will select some image and we will see what we need to do okay we got some error as well okay so uh, it is using the minimum SDK version with 16 and it should not be smaller than uh, 19 so another mistake so we will go over back to our build.gradle we will say no we are gonna use 19 at least and that makes sense because I thought it should be 21 but it is saying 19 so it's a good deal I guess so yes oh, we need to be you know sure about that as well and it should also work with iOS so don't worry if you are using an iOS device then also this plugin works with iOS I haven't tested it yet but yes once I will test it uh, I'm gonna create more videos on it so because um, you know it takes a lot of time to create this video so why I'm explaining all of this so that you can understand at least that how things are happening at once and then once you will be ready then we can do some good stuff like you know using this uh, detection we can build something and uh, that's the idea that's overall idea of this and you can see our app is running finally and I hope it works properly it is loading the model right now I guess uh, so we will also see here oh we got some error guys um, so fail to read label file that's the error we have got so fail to load the model so our model was not loaded for some reason and let me just see if we missed something um, so it's it's looking good oh so mobile net is the problem guys here I missed something so by default it is not able to load this I guess so I what I will do uh, let me just do a hot restart and let's see if that works so restarted application success you can see um, and I guess the model is loaded properly in this time or not okay I guess my device is in the sleep mode okay now what I'm gonna do so by default it is gonna use SSD mobile net so I'm gonna change it I'm gonna allow it and I'm gonna pick an image from here so as you can see this is the hot dog image the first one I'm gonna select it and you can see we have the detection hot dog 77 percent and uh, yeah there is something called dining table which is 49 okay are we using any percentage sign here oh we are not so let's let's use a percentage sign so that we can get the idea yes so hot dog it is 77 percent dining table it is 49 percent which uh, because it is not dining table so yeah that's why if if something is less than 50 percent then make sure that you are not using that data if it is uh, like uh, above 50 percent that then only it is fine if i'm not wrong and now we will use something called a person image let's say let's try so um, the third one we have a person horse and dog so yes you can see truck 40 percent because there is no truck person 76 percent horse 71 percent and uh, this could not detect this dog there is no car 44 percent bench okay so we we can just uh, you know uh, uh, leave that point now let's try to change the color to red 
and let's see if that works okay so now we are gonna use this third one and yes you can see person 71 horse 73 dog 48 and there is boat and uh, yeah that's the size is not sufficient so yeah we need to change a little bit the size so this is how guys you can use it so right now we are using only um the um what what we are using exactly we are using ssd mobile net right right guys so we need to change that as well so um what we can do we can have some buttons and uh, then maybe we can you know um i don't know maybe we can change it um depending on that button uh, when we click then uh, we can change the mode i don't know guys this is totally depends on you how you want to do it but yes i can just give you an idea that uh, if you want to change it uh, you can have some buttons here and uh, i can do that but you know that will make this tutorial more lengthy and uh, for no reason we will have to <laughs> deal with that length so let me just uh, tell you that if you want to um if you want to use that then what you need to do exactly so by default if you'll see uh, here in the model we are using ssd so now i'll replace it with yolo and uh, we will do a hot restart and then we will try to see the same results okay so i'll select this and i'll select uh, this time hot dog and you can see hot dog this time 87 percent but yolo is not giving us anything about the dining table so yeah yolo is uh, sure that you know there is no dining table or something like that uh, then we will use the second image like this oh it's very clear that you know yolo is giving us exactly what it can understand which is person 66 percent and horse 74 percent which is still fine and then we are going to use um the third one which is this image where yeah so it's only a sure about person and horse 85 percent 79 percent so that was the idea guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber and also make sure to uh, leave comments press the bell icon to get future updates and i'll see in the next video bye bye take care and let me know in the comments if you want more tutorials on 10 tf light and all these things so thanks guys for watching and i'll see in the next video